Hey, welcome back. So I was just doing a video and I thought, you know what, I'm a little sore. Well, maybe you are too. So here are some alternatives to throwing the javelin. All right, so uh, I am a little bit sore. I've been uh, throwing a little bit lately. I've been getting back from the lifting weights, and so my body's kind of feeling a little beat up. But I'm out here on the runway. I still want to get some work done, maybe do some technical work, but I don't want to throw the javelins. The javelins are kind of heavy. You know, I might warm up with them, but I'm not going to do my workout with them. Instead, I've got these alternatives. I've got an old resistance band. I've got an old kitchen towel with a knot on one side, and then I have some rope. Again, tied off at one end. All right, before we get too far into the video, this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. So if you want to protect your internet privacy, ExpressVPN is a fantastic VPN. And support this video by supporting the sponsors. So the link is in the description box below. The nice thing about this is that you can go through a lot of throws without beating yourself up. You can get a lot of reps, work on very technical stuff, not worry about the flight of the javelin, but rather just thinking and feeling through whatever drill that you're doing. So if I'm just doing a standing drill or standing throw drill, rock back and strike, I can kind of hear the towel a little bit, strike through. Right now there's a lot of uh, car noise behind me, so I don't hear it nearly as much as if I were out in a regular you know, javelin area. But there's a little bit of wind resistance, it's light, feels pretty good. All right, the next one is the rope. The rope will actually give you way more feedback. You're gonna hear it a lot more. So as I do a standing throw, you can probably hear that. Again, it's, it's pretty light, but there's not much wind resistance. So the likelihood of you actually slapping yourself with this is actually pretty high. I was out here with uh, a thrower, Grace. Grace, shout out to you, hello. Um, and she, as she was striking through, she would go through and then she would whip herself with this rope. So maybe a rope isn't the best method. Maybe you use a towel instead, but you can totally use that as, you know, an alternative to throwing a javelin. All right. Now the next one is a bungee cord. Now a bungee cord, I'm not going to strike the bungee cord like I do with the towel and, and the rope. I'm actually going to use this as kind of a, a resistance so I'm gonna wrap it up. In fact, you may have seen this drill before, but I'm just gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna stretch it out here, and I'm gonna go through my throwing motion, and I'm really trying to resist the throw, getting the lower body and the upper body to finish through the throw. So I'm not actually striking this, I'm just creating a little bit of resistance and then doing a simulated throw. But by doing this, I can get a ton of reps in a very short period of time. If you're adventurous, you can start working some crossovers. You can start working five, seven, you know, you could probably even do a full approach, but keep in mind, you're gonna move a lot faster. There's hardly any resistance when you're using a towel. But then again, you don't have to worry about the flight. You just worry about the technique that you're carrying through the runway, or, you know, if you're working on your block, or length of pull, hip moves, movements. And there's tons of things that you could be working on and then not being distracted by the actual flight of the javelin. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification so each time I post a new video, you'll get notified. Share this with a friend. That would be fantastic. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw far.